Hi guys, it's Lockers here, and today we've got an update on the patch news in New World. So we've got 1.0.1. It's been updated today on the 5th of October, so it was actually last night, yesterday. Um, it released at 3am PT. But, we've got some good updates here, which we wanted for a long time, or since last week. Because people haven't been playing much with each other because the servers been full and stuff like that, so they finally got a fix to it, and yeah, guys, they're gonna start transferring characters like next week, basically. Um, as you can see here, we've implement implemented the groundwork for character server transfer, and you may see elements of that work in in the game store. We continue to work on this feature, and we'll have more information on how the system works later this week when we release server transfers. This is huge. I've got half the group of my friends in a different server just because they couldn't get on because uh, they got so far in their get uh, server they didn't want to change. So it'd be good to like play, uh, play with them and like group up again. So this is big. Having the transfers is huge. So I reckon next week um, they've changed the wars. So they've changed turret projectiles in war from physical projectiles to use hit scan detection. This should help performance in war with fewer objects being spawned in the world. That's cool. Um, I haven't done a war yet, so I didn't experience this but, uh, beforehand, but it's good that they're already updating it. Uh, AFK prevention. This is pretty big because I know a lot of people are just running around AFK in the server because they don't want to sit in the queue times again. Um, so in an effort to ensure players can't stay AFK, especially in the high populated servers, we've made the following adjustments to AFK prevention system. Added additional AFK prevention to ensure players cannot fool the existing system with simulated mouse movements. So this means they won't let you just press WASD as a auto clicker. You're gonna actually have to like do random movements if you uh, want to stay in the game. It's quite annoying to be honest. But, well, for the people in the high queues that have just queued and then I don't know, like and their kids cry or something and they have to fix like the situation, then it's quite annoying I guess if you're like trying to calm a kid down. So what have they done? They've shortened the AFK warning message to 20 minutes to 15 minutes, and they've shortened the AFK disconnect to 25 to 20 minutes. So you've basically got five more minutes to run around the house and get back to your chair and press the button before you get kicked. Basically, um, I get why they're doing it, but it's kind of harsh, um, personally, because yeah, like if I said I've just got to run off and do something quick and. Uh, I'm longer than 20 minutes, and now I've got to wait in a queue for another three hours. It's different from my server. My server is quite quiet, so I can get on straight away. But I know, like uh, Helheim, they're sitting in eight-hour queue time still, and uh, yeah, it's just things that we don't like to see. But you know, it's what they've got to do. You want to keep the game flowing, and if the people in queue they can't get in because there's a lot of AFK plays, I get it. But I just think it's a bit uh, harsh, to be honest. So the world queue, we've had a confirmation on screen. A confirmation screen when a player attempts to leave the queue for a world. Asking the player to confirm if they're intent intending to leave the queue. This helps ensure nobody accidentally leaves the queue. This is huge because in um, the first couple of days, when I was just sitting in queue for 8 hours, I, I accidentally pressed escape instead of a control escape to get my uh, like toolbar back up. So I probably fell out the queue about 3-4 times just because I'm clumsy and an idiot. So having this is going to be huge just so people don't get frustrated they got like 600 places down the queue and have to re-jump back in the queue it's so annoying but that's great um, having a like, confirmation screen I agree with that should be a thing so now we've got the bug fixes um, a couple of ones to point out this fix an issue where players are attempt asked to claim achievement titles multiple times after logging back into the game despite already having claimed the rewards thank god for that every time I logged in You've got rewards to claim. I don't. I've really claimed these ones. It's just like titles and stuff. They had this issue in beta. Um, I suppose they didn't fix it back then, but it's good to see they're getting it now. Um, I've had this a few times. Of course, in Lego animations to freeze, basically, you don't move and your player does. Um, it's good that they addressed that. Uh, what else have they got? Fix the game crashes to New World Twitch in integrations. This means you can get your Twitch drops. Make sure you're following someone with drops enabled or watching them with shops enabled just so you can get the free loot. <coughs> uh, they're not bad skins to be honest, but 
you know, they're free, so why not take the freebies? Um, they fixed an issue where can certain item containers can be looted in Infinity. That's a shame. That is a shame. If you found one of them, well done. I didn't find any in my world, but fair play if you did find one. I wouldn't have reported it. I would have just kept going back there and get the sand flux or whatever it was in it. Um, fixing an issue where abandoning an event notification could sometimes persist after the player abandoned the event. I know my friend had a very big issue with this. Uh, it kept coming back and he kept having the music for like the corrupted um, portals uh, like appearing like even when he wasn't near it so that's good that they fixed that uh, I'm glad about that because that was getting quite annoying it just kept coming up you thought oh I've got a notification no it's the same thing time after time um, and then I've got a couple of AI fixes uh, quest fixes so this is cool I didn't miss in journal information but recommended quest level for players attempted to lock the second faction rank so many people went up to Brightwood and it you had to be 24 it doesn't tell you that you have to be 24 it just says it doesn't say anything actually I went up there at level 20 thinking oh I'll just get my next faction quest nope can't get anything until 24 it was only until people pointed out that you can't actually get it so you know it's a shame but now it's fixed thank god <coughs> um, any other big ones here No, I think it's just general fixes there, guys. So there we have it. That's the patch notes. That's the first patch we've had since launch. And it's stuff we need, to be honest. Like, definitely the transfers needed. Definitely the AFK system is needed just so players can get in. And these bug fixes are great. So there we have it, guys. I've been Lockers. I'll catch you in the next one.